Hi, I'm Greg Lanson, and this is Behind the Screen. Today, we're going to learn how fire dampers work. Greg, what are you doing up there? I'm looking for fire dampers. What's a fire damper? Great question. Duct work carries hot and cold air throughout a building. Not duct work, duct work. But to understand what a fire damper is, we need to understand what a fire wall is. A fire wall is a part of a building that's used to either prevent or slow the spread of fire. The keen observer may ask, why bother building a firewall when doors or ductwork would allow the fire to pass through? Not so fast, says the National Fire Protection Association. There are requirements for the design of fire doors and fire dampers to prevent the spread of fire throughout the system. And that's the key to where fire dampers are located, at these critical points between the building's HVAC system and firewalls to prevent the spread of fire. Cool, but how do they work? Imagine that you're inside a duct and you see something that looks like the grill on a car or a truck. On a car or truck, the grill always lets air through. A fire damper is like a grill, but one that can be open or closed. When a temperature sensitive component is exposed to high temperatures from an approaching fire, the fire damper closes. But how? I'd like to say it's the power of positive attitude, but the real answer is even better. Oftentimes, it's a spring. A mousetrap is a good illustration. The trip plate representing the sensor of the fire damper, releases the spring, which powers the arm of the trap to snap shut, like closing the grill of the fire damper. The key is to preload the spring by deflecting it and then holding it in place. Now springs are very patient. They'll wait months, years, even decades before springing into action, closing the grill of the fire damper, and keeping us safe. And that's how fire dampers work. Thanks for watching. Good job, Mr. Quackers. Your agent will be proud.